Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Depends on what part of the country you're in, I suppose. But it is Easter, so happy Easter to everybody out there. Hopefully the Easter Bunny came and brought you whatever it is you were looking for. I don't know. Anyway, it is Sunday. It's 11.28 the morning here, and you get to listen to the lovely sounds of the birds uh, because it's like a jungle out there. So I'm sure, hopefully, the uh, camera is picking that up, the volume, you know, the, the microphone. That's, that's what I'm trying to think of. Let's adjust that a little bit. Uh, happy Easter, Zarkas, Exarkas, Zarskas. Well, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, it is a decent day here. It is uh, overcast, but it's 78 degrees, and there is a pretty good breeze. We're supposed to have a lot of wind coming up, I think, on Monday, like 50, 45 mile an hour gusts, something like that. Uh, so that's going to be fun. I am a, a bit of a fan of, uh, of the wind myself. So, hey, why not, right? Let me share this. I've never done this before. I'm going to share this to the Facebook uh, and see what happens. See if we pick up any Facebook people. If you're from Facebook and it just came up or you're just getting on, let me know you got here from Facebook. I'd be curious to know. So how is everybody out there today? I've uh, been working on the truck a little bit, and if you didn't know, and I don't know how you wouldn't, uh, we've got the 2024 Toyota Tacoma sitting here in the lovely supersonic red. Just an awesome color. The more I see of this color, the more I love the truck. It is awesome. And <clears throat> let me tell you, for the, the people that say they don't like the truck or Toyota screwed it up or whatever, they don't know what they're talking about, man. These people need to get out and take a cruise in the truck. By the way, if you're just clicking on, hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. It doesn't cost you a dime, and I really would appreciate it. Um, and the thumbs up button if you're here. Show me a little bit of love. Anyway, uh, you saw the title of the video. Obviously, I'm not talking about the gorgeous supersonic red Toyota Tacoma. This is a 2024 TRD Sport, by the way. And there is a mod I'm thinking of doing. I want an opinion from you guys. I saw this uh, on some of the third gens recently. And in the hood scoop, they've got some lights, kind of like Raptor style lights, I suppose, but they're not really Raptor style lights. I don't know if the Raptor has lights in the hood scoop or not, but I was thinking about uh, wiring something in there. That's assuming I can actually access the, uh, the bottom of the hood scoop without having to drill holes through the, the, the hood. Um, although I'm not opposed to that, I really wouldn't be opposed to, I know it's, it's horrible to say, right? I really wouldn't be opposed to drilling a hole through the hood, uh, as long as, of course, and it would be, it's underneath the hood scoop, so you can't see it. And the wire that I have to run, uh, I think would be pretty darn thin, so it wouldn't be much of a hole, but nonetheless, I still would be drilling a hole through a brand new truck, and that kind of bites a little bit, you know? Um, I've done it before from the inside, but this would actually be through the surface. Again, it would be underneath, let me show you, underneath the hood scoop, uh, but it still would be a hole, and of course I would paint it and all that jazz so that it didn't rust, but it would be under here somewhere, obviously to get the wire from under the hood, or wires from under the hood up to the lights that would be across the front of the scoop there. Um, I've drilled holes before, as I mentioned, on the inside for the, uh, got to make sure I don't smack myself on the controls for the lift here. Um, I've drilled holes on the inside before for hood struts, uh, but those are on the inside, you know, and it's always a, a little more palatable to drill holes on the inside as opposed to the outside surface of the, of the hood. So... Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to tackle that or not. But I need your opinion. What do you guys think? Should I put, it'd probably be, I'm guessing three lights, it could be four, uh, in that faux vent area. Everybody knows the hood scoop in the Tacoma is not functional. 
So this would give me some sort of a function for it, I suppose, and that I could uh, actually have some lighting in there. Let's see if, uh, if I'm getting any uh, responses, comments from you guys. Jordan Brown says, hi, Rob, happy Easter. Oh, and we're going to get to the topic of, of the video, which in the beginning was my Tacoma is gone. What am I talking about? It's obviously not gone. You guys can see it right there, right? I'm going to get to that in, in just a minute. So, well, a couple minutes. Got to keep you guys on the edge of your seat, right? And if you're just clicking in, we've got 94 bodies in here. Smash that subscribe button if you would. That'd be really cool. Well, it helps me out. Anyway, Jordan Brown says, hi, Rob. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you, Jordan. Elzar Ponce. Happy Easter, Rob. Elzar, happy birthday to you. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. You're on here a lot, so... Uh, it would really suck if I'm not getting your name right, you know. Have it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way at Burger King. Isn't that a Burger King? Uh, you work. Do you like own a Burger King franchise? Uh, anyway, happy Easter to you as well. Daryl, that was my singing debut, by the way. Uh, if you want the uh, full LP, uh, MP, MP4, it's not an LP anymore, right? Uh, Daryl Watts, good morning, Rob. Greetings from Oklahoma. Happy Easter. Glad to see that you finally got your 24 taco. Finally. I really, honestly, I mean, I wasn't really heavy into the market for it, um, but I always said if, if the right deal came up with the right truck and all that stuff, uh, I would do it, and that's exactly what happened. My dealership actually contacted me. Uh, it was Toyota of Far. Uh, that's P-H-A-R-R, -R. here in South Texas. The sales guy over there, uh, Josh, actually contacted me. Um, it was about something completely different, I think. They were having a, an unveiling of the 2024 Tacoma. They asked me if I wanted to come, blah, blah, blah. But we got to talking about the trucks, of course. And that's how it all arose. So the stars aligned and I got one. Uh, Chad Kronatz. Chad, what's up, buddy? Happy Easter, Rob. What's up? Just doing my thing, sitting here. And by the way, I want to, I left somebody out last time. You'll notice Chad's name is highlighted in green. That's because he's a channel member. Um, Bob Jones is a new channel member, as well as Wee Fergie. And oh my God, I'm going to be forgetting the other person. I've got to get on here and, uh, and give them a shout out, too. I uh, like to do that. We Fergie has a channel, so check him out if you're interested. Uh, let's see. We have Ham Drone, uh, Jim F., Bob Jones, and Chad Kronatz. They are channel members. Um, there's actually another. Let's see. Let me do that again. We have Ham Drone, Jim F., Bob Jones, Chad Kronatz, and We Fergie. And if any of you folks, I know We Fergie does, has a channel, feel free to shout it out. Uh, one, of the, one of the perks I wanna give to uh, anybody who happens to have joined the channel, became a member, um, shout it out. A little free publicity for your channel and, and tell us what it's about too, by the way. And it better not be X-rated because that'd be a problem. There is a, a join button somewhere on the screen if you wanna check out what that's about. It's completely up to you, completely. Um, I do appreciate the, uh, the five members, though. I just wanted to acknowledge them again. Uh, let's see. Ellery Bice. The lights in the scoop should be lower in lumens than the other yellow marker lamps. Hmm. That's a good tip. I agree. They'd probably be blinding that high if they were uh, brighter. Chad Kronatz. Give the thumbs up. Yes, give the thumbs up and click the, click the subscribe button. Uh, Zarks. That's what I'm going with. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I wish Toyota would have kept the cubbies. I wish Toyota would have kept the cubbies in the bed of the truck. You're not alone. There's a lot of people that wish they would have. I believe there is a cubby option, um, probably in a package, or maybe it's going to be on the Pro and the Trail Hunter on the driver's side. And it's I think it's specifically for a an air compressor. So if you want to put a compressor in there, and it must have a shelf or something because I'm not sure how you would sit it in there. And it'd be a pretty small compressor from what I've seen, but I think it is an option that you can get. And speaking of options on the new Tacoma, you know, there's something really uh, petty 
that Toyota's doing, and that is not including a dampened tailgate in all models. When I went and looked at that first uh, 2024 Tacoma at the dealer, um, he opened the, the tailgate and let go, and it slammed down. And that's because it was an SR, <clears throat> and it did not have the dampen feature in it. I think it woke up the whole dealership. Everybody jumped and was like, what happened? It was quite loud in that big area in the building, you know? Pretty petty of Toyota not to include that, I think. Uh, let's see. Philip A. Huggins. Hilarious. Happy Easter uh, weekend, everyone. You too, Philip. Thank you for being here. Chad says, do lights in the scoop. Thanks for the feedback. That's one positive so far, or one do it so far. RF, Rob, cheers from Canada. Congratulations on the new 2024. RF, thank you very much. How are things up in Canada? Jimmy Pham says hi. Damon Ortiz says hi. Damon Ortiz says hi again. Hi, Damon. Or Damien, I'm sorry, Damien. Elizardo, yo, happy Easter. No to the lights. It may be too much. Also, how are you going to mount them? Um, that's a good question. Probably similar to how, yeah, that's not true. Similar, eh, probably with some kind of a, a threaded screw on the light itself. Uh, and then with some kind of a washer nut on the back that I would paint black so you couldn't see it. That's my thinking. I don't know. Uh, if there's a business out there, by the way, that's doing lights like that or thinking about it, you need to do it. And get a hold of me and let me know. I've done a little bit of searching and I haven't found any um, aftermarket options. So I would have to create this myself. It would be a Rob Motive Spatial. Huh? How about that? Uh, David Gonzalez says, hi. Hey, David. Philip Huggins says, meant hiya, not hilarious. <laughs> oh, I see. I kind of wondered what was so hilarious, what was so funny. I don't Maybe it's me. I don't know. Um... Jimmy Pham, triple, quadruple thumbed up. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. It's got to be an odd number because it's like an on-off switch. If you hit the thumbs up, it's on. If you hit it again, it's off. And so on and so on and so on. So you got to hit that, uh, you got to hit that an odd number. Uh, Bill W., Jappy Easter. Well, Jappy Easter to you too. Too bad you couldn't have sold your Tacoma outright instead of trading it in. If you were in my state, I would have bought it plus any tax. Yeah, that's... That's the thing. Uh, when you trade your vehicle in, you reduce the cost of the new vehicle and you're taxed on the difference. If I sold it outright, I would have to add to the price, not only the tax you have to pay, but I would have to add to the, the price, well, no, that would be your burden, but you would have to pay my extra amount to offset the tax benefit I would lose by trading it in. I don't know if a lot of people think about that. You know, you pay cash for something, and you're gonna have uh, a tax benefit, a loss rather, if you go to the dealer and hand them that tax or that cash, right? Um, let's see, Ernie Diaz, great job. Hello from San Diego, California and Tijuana, Baja. I have a 2018 Tacoma, it is great on Baja roads. I bet, I bet that would be awesome, man. Um, let's see, Joe Stone Specialists, LLC. Joe Stone, I'm curious, are you like a landscaping or stone company or what, what does that name mean? What do you do? Uh, good morning. One question. How long will it take to get the tag or plate for the Tacoma? It's been a month today and I haven't got it yet for mine. It's about a month usually. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. When you get your uh, title in the mail, that is the indication that everything has been switched, been switched over and you should be receiving your plates. I would give your dealer a call. Sometimes they hold them at the dealership thinking you're going to pick them up uh, if you're expecting them to come in the mail. So they, don't, they might already be there. I don't know. Depends on how uh, on the ball your dealership is, right? Uh, console Craze, happy Easter to you as well. Jimmy Pham, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, Sir Fernando, the fondue king. What's up, y'all? Uh, I gotta know, do you have a fondue business or are you just, uh, really fond of the fondue? I gotta know. Uh, Celine Hollingsworth. Happy Easter, Celine. Uh, Jonathan Ratliff. Rob, what's up, Rob? Uh, just home from church. Easter blessings, my friend. Thank you, Jonathan. You as well. And happy Easter. Off-Road King. Happy Easter. What do you think of the first-gen manual Tacoma? 
I would love to have a first-gen manual Tacoma. That would be freaking awesome. However, trying to find one that's in good shape, that's not rusted all the heck, uh, that's another story. I, would, I wouldn't even care how the manual was. You know, I've dogged the 2020 Tacoma that I had that was a manual, it was horrid. Uh, but I would take a horrid manual in a first-gen Tacoma and be happy about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Off-Road King, Happy Easter. What do you think of the first-gen? I just, I just answered that. Mark Galarta. I'm thinking the S is silent, so I'm going with Mark Galarta. Happy Easter. Does this truck have any throttle lag? If it does, it, I shouldn't say if it does. Every vehicle, I think, unless you have the pedal commander, you know, it's right back there. Sale going on right now, by the way. It's actually not just right now. If you use my discount code, RobMotive1, you can save 30 bucks at www.pedalcommander.com. Uh, and you got to have it. If you, don't have, if you have a third gen and you don't have Pedal Commander or any vehicle that has throttle lag, you got to have it. Um, in this truck, I would say... There's always a throttle lag unless you have the pedal commander, um, but it's much, much less pronounced. I'm still going to put a pedal commander in it as soon as they have one. I don't believe, last I checked, they had one for 2024, um, but they will, I'm sure, and it should make the truck, oh my God, it's going to be like lightning, I think. Uh, let's see, Philip Huggins just thumbed up one time. Thank you, Philip. I appreciate that. Uh, Jimmy Pham thumbed up. Thank you. Uh, Riz Lerviar. Happy Easter. Riz, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, Jimmy Pham says thanks. Uno says Roberto. Congrats on your new ride. Happy Easter to you and the fam. Hey, Uno, you too as well. Kind of a double entendre there or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. A name I certainly couldn't pronounce is talking about gasoline. I don't know. Johnny Gilbert, he's a J. I guess Johnny is J. Uh, David Copperfield. Oh, there's there's a very creative name for you. How about P. Diddy? Lots of man and boy. Oh, now see, we've got one of those. It's Easter, man. I mean, come on. Let's uh, let's get rid of that comment. I just don't like the nature of it. And we'll we'll put them in timeout if we have to, I guess. Uh, let's see. We got another some kind of weird comment. I just keep that one hidden. Uh, Sir Fernando the Fondue King. I'm 100% a fondue addict. I particularly love uh, Manchego and Gruyere. I don't even know. Is that a cheese? I, I, I don't know. Melted together. I just got rid of my 328 IBMW for a 2011 Tacoma 56,000 miles. That is a heck of a switch. Why did you dump the BMW for a Tacoma? Um, and do you like it? I mean, the ride quality, the power, you've got to be noticing a big difference. Of course, you've got more space. You can haul stuff now. By the way, speaking of more space, it has nothing to do with it. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're just clicking in. I would really appreciate it. And hit the thumbs up button while you're at it. Um, let's see. Gandalf uh, says, Happy Easter. Weren't you in a movie or something? Uh, we've got a celebrity in here. Uh, Ben Benjo, Benjo 218. I want the new Tacoma so bad. Hey, have you driven it yet? Because I guarantee you, when you go drive the new Tacoma, by the way, we have one here, in case anybody didn't know. It's the gorgeous supersonic red. Check that sucker out. Oh my God. It is freaking awesome. You know, I went for a ride yesterday. I was driving around and I thought, you know, this new Tacoma is so much better. What an improvement. And I was a skeptic. You know, when I first start, started talking about this new Tacoma, I was a skeptic. I really was. Uh, I didn't know that I'd like it. I wasn't a fan, and I'm still not, uh, of the roof line there, this little spoiler thing. It looks like they put a hat on top of the Tacoma. That's probably the really the only thing I don't like about it, other than auto stop, which sucks, by the way. Um <clears throat> But it's growing on me. You know, it's kind of unique. We have a spoiler sort of on the back of the Tacoma. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Purple Spider. Do you have... Wait a minute. Wow, I've missed some comments here or something. Uh, Ace says... I don't know what. Uno says, Rob, we're still waiting on your new tattoo of a Tacoma. 
and a bed filled with tacos. Um, not going to get, well, I shouldn't say never. I mean, if, if Toyota got a hold of me and wanted to throw enough green my way, uh, enough Benjamins, uh, I might be interested in, uh, in a, in a uh, tattoo of the Tacoma in an obscure place. I'm not going to put it across my forehead or anything, but, you know, never say never. But, uh, no, nah, in a bed full of tacos, only if I was having a big party or something, you know. Uh, William Courtney, thumbed up. Thank you, William. I appreciate that. Uh, purple Spider. Now we're to Purple Spider. Do you have a Jeep? And if you do, what color is it? I have two Jeeps. Let's take a look. Um, one is that color right there. And the other is that color right there. Um, this one is, we're just going to call it orange. It's pumpkin orange, I think. And that one is Anvil. And of course, we also have a RAV4 sitting there, which I just did a mod to uh, before this live stream. Uh, you can mod RAV4s, believe it or not. Some people will tell you you can't, but you can't. There's a close-up. Wow. That is one good-looking dude, man. I must admit, what a sexy-looking dude that is. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Um, the color is Anvil for my Jeep. Uh, the other's pumpkin orange. Captain Bob Castaway's shark team. Hey, Rob, congrats on your new baby. I've been a Tacoma man for over 30 years. Love the color. My passion color is red. Red is awesome on this truck. You know, my first choice was going to be solar octane, and then red, and then blue, and then underground. Uh, they didn't have a solar octane. Some people saw the solar octane. Uh, in my video when I went to drive or get this new truck, that truck was already sold. Um, so it wasn't an option for me. Red was the only option I had if I wanted to get one sooner than later. And like I said, the deal worked out. All that was really good. Um, we're going to get to the, the topic of this in just a second, I promise. Um, let's see. Uno says, Fondue King, you did a great trade. Uh, I have a 2012 4x4 TRD Sport in manual. The dying art, the manual trans. Do you guys, how many people, let's do a survey. I want to know how many people out there, I know Uno does, how many people out there know how to drive a manual transmission? How many people say yes or say no? And I'll know what you're talking about. I want to know because supposedly only about 4 to 6%, closer to 4 of the people that buy or drive vehicles, buy new vehicles these days, are buying manual transmissions. That means 96% are not. I'll tell you a story in a minute too that relates to the, uh, the title of the live stream. I tell you, it's, it's funny. Um, Elizardo says, I saw a first gen in Jersey car gurus of 53,000 miles, but they want 27K. Uh, Wow, that's actually, compared to some of the pricing I've been seeing, a pretty good deal, believe it or not. Uh, let's see, Miami says, I love that truck. Thank you very much. I do too, it's awesome. Uh, Colton, who else? Do you watch Jinxie? I don't even know what that is. Jonathan Ratliff says, should be near zero throttle lag in a hybrid Tacoma. I would think so. You know, with the electric uh, motor assist, I would expect that when you hit the gas, it just goes, which is like the mecca of acceleration for me, right? Um, Jonathan Ratliff, I read. Brian, I saw a video where a new SR5 Tacoma was at 45,000 at a dealership. This is true. How much was yours? Um, I went over the sticker. If you want to know the financial details on it, uh, just check out my video from a few days ago. You can find that out. Uh, uh, an SR5 for 45000 I believe it. But remember, keep in mind, just because the dealer puts a number on the truck does not mean you have to pay that number. Negotiate. Believe me. Um, let's see. Uh, mailings. Where did you get it? Uh, if you're talking about the truck, I got it at Toyota of Far in Texas. And if you're going to go there, check out Josh Landon. Great sales guy. He's the guy I worked with. Uh, good experience. Sir Fernando. Yes, unfortunately, ride comfort is lessened. The BMW was fun to ride on highways, but I am relieved to own a more rugged, less maintenance vehicle. Absolutely. Great condition, and I use it for home renovations. Absolutely makes sense. And yeah, I've had a BMW, and 
maintenance on a BMW uh, and reliability, just not a good thing, not a good thing. Purple Spider, got to admit, I kind of dig that name. Uh, do you go off-roading? No, I really don't because there's nowhere to go. I mean, if I touch dirt, I'm probably going to be arrested because somebody owns that land and didn't give me permission to go on it. Uh, Jim VC2, do you regret not getting the 14-inch screen in your Tacoma? The red color looks great. No, since I've never had the 14-inch, there is really nothing to regret. I mean, I can't miss what I have no experience and never had. Would I have liked to have had it? Yeah, sure, why not? Do I need it? No. Does anybody? No. Did I want to pay for it? Absolutely not. <clears throat> Nothing like a little green nectar first thing in the morning. That's not first thing. I've been up for hours. Uh, let's see. Uh, chill beats. How deep are we willing to go? I don't know what that means, but it sounds kind of not appropriate for my channel, so it's got to be deleted. It's a PG-13 slash more PG channel. I'm just saying. S. Cornelius says, not the same. They ditched the six, less towing power. I would say if you're depending on a Toyota Tacoma for towing power, you probably bought the wrong freaking truck to begin with. You should have a full-size truck. I love people who complain about, oh, it can't tow my you know, 80,000 pound motorhome. Well, no kidding. It's not built for that. And I would say, you know, yeah, you can tow little things with it. You know, landscaping equipment, maybe uh, a tiny camper, things like that. But if you're really into towing, why aren't you driving a full-size truck? I don't get it, you know? It's, you gotta have the right tool for the job, right? I don't know. Uh, Jordan Brown, I would like a 2024. I've just got too much invested in my 2022. Heck, I think I'm up to, uh, I think I'm up to 15K in accessories. <laughs> That's the name of the game when you're driving a Tacoma, man. If you're not willing to drop some coin on your truck, you're missing out. By the way, speaking of truck, let's take a quick look. There it is. Isn't it awesome? Isn't it awesome? It's just awesome. The next view, I'm going to have to get up and, uh, and show you guys the rear end. Because if you like rear ends, you're going to love this one. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Uh, Sir Fernando. Thank you, Uno. I'm happy with the Toyota. BMW was a headache over six years of ownership. Wow, you kept it for quite a while, though. That's pretty good. Jonathan Ratliff. I assume the hybrid Tacoma being the system that it is will not have, will not have the auto stop other than what's inherent in a hybrid system, correct, Rob? Um, it is going to have auto stop. Um, it may be a little bit different system, but yeah, I like the Toyota Prius. When I pulled up somewhere, it would stop running because the engine would stop because it would run off of electric. It's gonna be the same setup. It will stop. Uh, you're probably not going to have the choice to not let it stop. Um, so is that auto stop? I would say that's more a function of the hybrid system, but I mean, it is an auto stop. Uh, let's see, Michael Garatis, Garatis, I tried, what can I say? Uh, Michael says, what do you think of the new Tacoma? Does it look good? Mine has that same color. Are there some flaws in it or not yet? I haven't found any flaws in it. It is awesome, other than auto stop. I hate auto stop. Uh, I wish it didn't have it. It sucks. But there are no flaws in the truck yet that I have I have experienced. Jimmy Pham, I don't like the spoiler on the back of the Tacoma either. It looks weird. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of odd looking. I, I kind of wish they wouldn't have. There is a flaw. I take that back. Let me show you. There is a flaw. I forgot. There is a flaw. Let me flip you around. I think this is a flaw. Look at the rear window. Do you guys see the rear window? Well, I would hope so, it's right in front of you. Um, right there, you see how it, it looks unfinished? There's no gasket that sticks out around it that covers the edges. It almost looks like they just put, slapped a window in there. You can see the edge, it just kind of sticks out right here. It's very odd. It looks like they just grabbed a window and stuck it on there, right? That is the only flaw. I think that is a flaw. I think Toyota missed the boat in their engineering when they, when they set it up that way. I don't think it looks, I think it looks unfinished. So if there's a flaw, that's, that's the flaw that I've found so far. 
Jimmy Pham, I don't like the spoiler. Purple Spider SV, I like Anvil. Yeah, that color, check that out. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it very well. That color is awesome, you know? And when I went to get that Jeep, I almost got yellow because I wanted something different, but I just couldn't stomach it. It did not look good on the Jeep, in my opinion. Uh, so that one was there. I got that one. Um, well, let's see here. Uno says, sir, I can understand. My wife had a Z4. I hated getting in and out of it and too expensive to maintain. She finally got rid of it and got a manual Mustang. Yeah, we had a Z4, three. I don't know. My wife had one as well. And uh, that sucker was tight and hard to get in and out of unless you had the top down. Then it was fine. Um... Jonathan Ratliff, do you miss your Prius, Rob? I know you only had it a few months. That car's awesome. One of my top probably 10 cars of all time. Do I miss it? Yeah, I do miss it. It's, it's awesome. If you're looking for a commuter vehicle in hybrid form, you've got to go test out the Toyota Prius. It's amazing what they did with that vehicle. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It really was. And Annoy, Annoy, you already did a live stream about the Tacoma. Um... Okay, thank you. I don't know what to tell you. Wolfpack, yes. Okay, here we go. We're getting the yeses and the noes. Jordan Brown, yes. Nathan Mendelin, Mendelin. I'm still driving my manual Tacoma. How do you like it though, compared to other manuals? I mean, let's, I'm gonna assume that you've driven other manuals in your life. How does it compare for you? And what year is it? Uh, MVO plays, yes. Thank you, so far all yeses. Sir Fernando. Heck yeah, manual transmission is the best. Awesome. So we have a lot of manual transmission uh, know-how to drives in here. That's awesome. By the way, if you haven't, smash that subscribe button. Helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as usual, show me a little bit of love. Kind of corny, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Captain Bob Castaway Shark Team says, yes. I can't believe how many people we have. Wow, a lot. Jimmy Pham says, Tacoma with a hat, walk on the street like a gangsta. See, now you spelled that wrong. You should have spelled it gangsta because that's how it really is. Uh, MVO Plays said, yes, knows how to drive a manual. Uno, Rob. Now, I know you're getting 285s on your new ride unless you're getting the hover conversion kit. Um we shall see. I haven't decided. I was just looking at the tires this morning. It definitely needs help in that area for sure. Uh, let's see. Oops. MVO Play says yes. Bob says yes. 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 Vince. Ciardulo. Ciardulo. Dulo. Dulo. Ciardulo. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Says yes. Daryl Watts. Uh, what is uh, your RAB4 web? Uh, YouTube page. It's called Rob Motive, just like this channel, 2. And that's T-0-0. Zero, zero. And there should be a link down below too, by the way, but it's Rob Motive 2. And there's other vehicles in there that I've had as well, at, you know, but the, the current one is the RAV4. Uno says, Nate, manual is just super fun to drive. MVO, I drove a Nissan and I'm 11 years old. <laughs> well, good for you. Was it a manual? Uh, Chad Cranott says, yes. Good to hear, Chad. Uh, tech for fun. Hey, who does your thumbnails? Very creative and unique. I do my thumbnails. Um, it just dawned on me one day that uh, I needed to start doing big head thumbnails. Is that it? Did it? Does anybody notice that the head is not in proportion to the bodies? Um, I do them. They're my own creations. I started putting some work into them finally, you know. I see a lot of people that do, and it's true, thumbnails for a YouTuber, I mean, what's the first thing that people see when, when, when your page comes up or when they're on a page looking? Your thumbnail, it's that important. See, big head, big head. You need to have a thumbnail that draws people's attention. And I think what I try to do is make them quirky, kind of. In other words, you look at it and you're like, something's off about that guy. What is it? I just can't quite place it. He's got a big head, especially when you look at my hand size compared to my head size and the thumbnails. It's like these little dinky hands and you know, you get the idea. But anyway, long story short, um, or short story long, I guess. Let's see, 
Uh, e. Kelly says yes. 2016 manual TRD Sport. Awesome. Uh, John Ratliff says yes. I've had no no's. I can't believe it. Are you guys being honest with me? Nobody has said no. They don't know how to drive a manual yet. The statistics just don't support that. Um, let's see. Jordan Brown says, my 2022 is the first auto since my first car. I'm 41. That tell, if that tells you anything. Tells me you're younger than I am. That's what it tells me. Uh, Daryl Watt says, yes. Uh, Yur Yuritsa Carasalas. Carasalas. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, I sub to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And speaking of subs, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. It helps me out, and it doesn't cost you a dime. I mean, you know, it's free. Um, Shenanigan says, with Paw Paw, or Shenanigans with Paw Paw. Hi. Hello. Uh, Elizardo, yes, long live the manual transmission. Yeah, you know there's going to be a day when they're gone, right? I can't, honestly, I was, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest, I predicted that Toyota would not offer a manual transmission on the new redesign, and I was wrong. Uh, you can still get a manual Tacoma, and there's only, what, only Tacomas and Gladiators? Uh, may, I think that's it. I don't know if you can get a manual transmission in any other truck right now. Am I wrong? Can you? Uh, let's see. Ernie Diaz. Yes, learned when I was 12 years old. Also a 10-wheeler, forklift, Simca Euro car. Wow. I actually learned how to drive on a manual as well. I was not, uh, I was not uh, 12 years old, but I learned how to drive on a manual. It was a Plymouth K car, piece of junk. Um, and it was not pleasant for me. You know, learning how to drive a manual when you've never really driven anything, and I hadn't. I mean, I'd driven a car like up and down a driveway and on a dirt road for a second, um, but I had never really driven anything. Golf carts, that's it. So when you jump in a, a manual transmission having no road experience, uh, that kind of sucked, man. It really did. Although I'm glad now that uh, I was put through that misery. Uh, but I learned that as, uh, as well. Uh, let's see. Captain Bob, I'd like to send you a picture of my 2021 red Tacoma 4x4 with the Shark Tower. How do I send you a pic? Let me tell you what you do. You go over and it's free. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for it. You join up on, uh, on Rob Motive. Let's see, what's that called? Rob Motive YouTube Truck Channels on Facebook. Rob Motive YouTube Truck Channels on Facebook. Join it and then you can post pictures. You can be on the, it's a Facebook group. It's my group. Um, and then you can post a picture and, and I will see it. Cool. Or anybody. Anybody can join it if you want. It's free. Um, Uno says, Hola, Yaritza. Yaritza? I'm sorry if I am butchering your name. Uh, Walter. Hey, Rob. I, uh, I am eating a burger and fries right now. Oh, my God. I could go for another burger and fries. You know, yesterday, Paul sent me a super chat, told me to get burgers and fries. I did. I got the burgers and fries. Uh, but I could go for another, let me tell you. Love the burgers and fries. Uh, oh, dry the otter. Audrey the otter. Hey, just join. Hey, welcome. Good to have you here. Elizardo says, driving my 2022 uh, TRD off-road six-speed. You're driving right now? Well, be safe. Be safe out there on the road. Uh, Lyle says, thoughts on BMW? I love BMWs. I love BMWs. I love Audis. I love Porsches. I love Mercedes. I love them all. What I don't love, I don't love the reliability. Sometimes, yeah, the quality is usually there, but eh. um, the reliability and the maintenance costs if you get out of maintenance. That's, that's what I don't like. I've had all of those vehicles. Um, and the only one really... In the Audis, they were tough to learn how to use the audio system. I don't think I ever did. Um, and the BMW seemed to lose power after about a year. It seemed to get sluggish. I, it was weird. I don't know. But I like them. Uh, Robert Boudreau. Love that name. What's your name? My name's Robert Boudreau. 
Uh, let's see. Happy Easter, Rob. I have this for my 2021 TRD Sport and love it. ABS Aeroskin Light Skin Pro. Hopefully they will have it for the 2024. I don't know. Walter, if you're looking for towing, get a diesel. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, people complaining about towing. I mean, it's a Tacoma. It's not a, you know, a giant, massive towing machine, you know. Uh, Sir Fernando, BMW is fun, but like Rob said, maintaining it gets old quick. Oh, yeah. Official Inc. LSU? Or is that ISU? I'm not sure what you mean. Life says... I just came in, didn't realize you went over if went over it. Gotcha. Spencer, any love for the former fleet Tacomas that have zero mods? Uh, an unmodded Tacoma is like uh, uh, is like life without Rob Motive. You just can't do it. You can't do it. You've got to have both in your life, right? Uh, no love from me. There's nothing wrong with them. I mean, it, it, you know, if you're using it as a work truck and you're not interested in mods, you know, why not? Ernesto Barajas, Barajas, Ernesto Barajas, Mexican Power. Is that a power company? <coughs> I don't know. Uh, Loki Raras, uh, I like the wall behind you. Sorry about the name. I, you know, I'm, I just couldn't pronounce it. Yeah, the wall behind me, it's like a graveyard of previous uh, grills, you guys can see. There are lots of grills. There's a Tundra grill, some Jeep grills, Tacoma grill, Mercedes grill. Uh, I, I, I figured, you know, I'm not going to throw them away. That's just dumb. And who knows? Maybe somebody will say, hey, Rob, I'll give you 300 bucks for that white gladiator grill. And I'll go, okay, as long as they're local. I'm not really into shipping, but, you know. Uh, but thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Eric says, Happy Easter, sir. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Uh, some guy, uh, same quaff, the Tacoma, the rubber doesn't meet up, meet up in the corners. You must be talking about the rear view or the rear windshield. I don't know. Um, let's see. Tech for fun. I'm guessing the spoiler is something to do with gas mileage and aerodynamics. Uh, yeah, that's what they say. Somebody even said recently that if you remove the spoiler from the Tacoma, you're going to lose five miles per gallon. I can tell you that is not true so far. Now, I don't know about on the freeway. Maybe you would. Danger. I totaled a Supra. Well, that sucks for you. I hope you had good insurance, and I hope you didn't get hurt. Um, Gregory Stevens says, happy... Uh, nah, we're, we're, we're not a political channel, so we're going to remove that. I don't know what your intent is, but that's not what we're here for. Uh, Jose Alamarez, Alamarez, happy Easter to you as well. Uh, Tubby says, uh, happy Easter, y'all, happy Easter, Tubby. Uh, let's see, let's move on. Mixed Onions, uh, I lost it. it, says Prius, LOL. Hey, bud, if you haven't driven the Prius, you're laughing at yourself. I'm just saying, because the freaking Prius redesign is awesome. It's awesome. You got to drive it, man. You got Speaking of, of vehicles, let's do that quick little walk around I was talking about. Uh, let me, you know what? Matter of fact, I should be switching you there. We haven't really paid much attention to the rear end. This is the rear end. I do have the dampened tailgate. Check that out. Is that not awesome or what? I have done a mod recently. You may be able to spot it. I don't know if you can spot it or not, but uh, it's done. I do have the spray-in bed lighter. God knows why. Um, this truck also has lift points on it. This is for like a high lift. Pretty uh, interesting that Toyota included these on the truck. Maybe it's because there's no good lift point underneath. I don't know. I mean, the jack they give you is not a high lift, so I don't really understand why that is. Um, but nonetheless, they did give us uh, some high lift jack points, which is good uh, because I, I often wonder people that invest in and buy the high lifts, if they actually realize there's nowhere to hook them to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Um, here we go again. We're going to delete this as well. This is not a political channel. Uh, where was I? Uh, mixed onions. Oh, yes. Laughing at the Prius. Bob Buckley. Rob, love your new truck and that color is amazing. Can't wait until you start the mods. The mods have begun, but they are subtle. 
You have to have a good eye to pick them out so far. Uh, the TT transporter, Sigma, that is a that is real Sigma clothes. I have no idea what you're talking about. Tech 4 fun. EA, ever thought about putting the new taco on a dyno? Um, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to doing that, but I don't really have access to one here. Sarah, name a country for an edit. Uh, United States, of course. Jimmy Pham, I spell wrong. Sometimes I can't spell. Sometimes I can't even talk. So, you know, I can relate. Uh, Walter, y'all hit the thumbs up button. That's right. Hit that thumbs up button. And by the way... I got to remind you guys, we're going to do that. We're going to do it with a, uh, a little bit of love here for the 2024 Tacoma. Um, I'm going to show you the back seat area. Let's see. Let me flip you around. By the way, look at this honking big gas cap. Look at this. This is my hand. And I'm a normal sized person. Look how big that sucker is. They're serious about putting gas in this truck. But there's the uh, rear seat area for anyone who hasn't seen it. There is some storage underneath. I've got some stuff under there. You guys can see storage woo, on the other side as well. They did provide snaps. This is something new. Snaps to be able to hold this up. There's a little nub over here, right here on the side uh, to snap the seats up. I'll probably never use that. And then we have TRD on the uh, door area as well as... Uh, uh, looks like a three cup holder area and a new looking design for the speakers, which are still useless, by the way. If you're wondering, the sound system is good, but the speaker system uh, is still just as worthless as it always was. Uh, I'm not sure about the speakers in the front, whether I'll change those or not. The tweeters I'm talking about, that was always a must do. Oh, I forgot to say what I was going to say. Click that subscribe button if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Show me a little bit of love. All right, we got to move on to some comments here, man. Come on, let's quit talking about love. Um, where was I? Uh, Flash Gordon. You remember that movie? Uh, where was I? Uh, Happy Easter, can't you turn off auto stop? Yeah, you push a button every freaking time you start the truck. It sucks. Uh, but you can. Jonathan Ratliff, Rob, do you find the new RAV uh, has a lot of interior noise on the road? Um, it's not the quietest vehicle out there, I will say. But it doesn't, though, things like that don't really bother me much. Flash Gordon says yes. Bob says yes. That must be to the ability to drive a manual transmission question I asked. Bob England, happy Easter from uh, New England or Northeast, wait a minute, from Northeast North Carolina. Uh, love the red, but I picked up my underground 4x4 last week, been great so far. Congratulations to you. Underground was my fourth choice. Um, I didn't hate the underground. That's a pretty good color too, though. Um, Jake Marcus, finally, we have someone who says, no, honestly, cannot drive a manual transmission. Mike Mikado, hey Rob, just got on, how you doing? Uh, what do you mean your Tacoma is gone, LOL? Yeah, I should get to that. All right, here's the deal, let's get to that. If, if you didn't know, I traded in my 2023 TRD off-road electric lime green Toyota Tacoma. It was at the dealership in FAR. It had been there for about, how, however long I've had this truck, about a week? week and a half, something like that, and it's sold, sold, it's gone. Uh, it took about a week and a half, and wait a minute, we have an interloper. Excuse me, ma'am, my wife wouldn't be very happy with you. Hey, now, what? Your it, wife. G rated, <laughs> for yeah. God's sake, man. Wait a minute, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, that was quick. Uh, oh anyway, uh, <laughs> this is my wife. This is Krista right there. Ooh. Um, she's joining. Uh, people have been requesting lately. Uno's on here, by the way. He always wants to show Krista some love. Uh, hey. Uno's on here. I don't know if he's still on. Hopefully he is. Krista has joined. This is my wife of 68 years, something like that. Like 120, really. Uh, really. I mean, it's been a while. But uh, she has joined the live stream. Surprise. What do you think? We need to get her opinion. What do you think of the 2024 Tacoma from a Famali view? From a what now? Female. Famali. Wow. Just thought of that myself. What do you, what do you think? 
Honestly? Honestly, what do you think of the 2024 Tacoma? I like it. What do you think of the color? I love the color. It's stunning. The color isn't it? is. Look at that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, yeah, the color is really good. I like the color. I mean, isn't it amazing? The I only think thing it's, is that back window area there. Yeah, I, I, went, I, little, I was talking about that a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of kind of sucky. Kind of strange. Kind of it, sucky. It curves up and then just. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but otherwise, yeah. Yeah. I Chad Cronaut says, hey, Krista. Chad. Uh, what's up? What's up? Just hanging out. Hanging out, doing your thing. Hanging out, doing my thing. Oh, I got to get back to the comments. This, this, this live stream is getting a little long in the tooth here. Perhaps you can help me answer. Um, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I got to tell the story. My green, electric lime green Toyota Tacoma did sell, and the person that bought it contacted me, and it was funny. Uh, they may be on here right now. I don't know. But they contacted me, uh, actually, I think while they were buying it or something, negotiating the deal. I don't know. I didn't get the message or see it until I think it was all over. Uh, but they asked me if that was my truck because they'd seen it in pictures other places and it looked a lot like my truck. Um, and it was. And they did buy it. Uh, congratulations to them. You got an awesome truck if you're on here. And you've got uh, about 20 or so mods see if you can find them all, that are still on that truck. I did take quite a bit off, but I did leave quite a bit as well. Yep. Things that I couldn't remove. Obviously, the front bumper, I couldn't remove that. Um, there's a, there's a uh, um, catalytic uh, converter protector, theft protection mm -hmm. underneath the truck. I left that on. And by the way, that's the same one that Toyota provides. It's from yep. Miller Cat, the same company. There is a discount code below for them, by the way. Yep. If you don't have uh, cat protection on your Tacoma, you're going to be sorry when you hear a loud noise when you turn that key and some scumbag stole it from you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Walter says, I am the only one who doesn't know how to drive a manual. You're not. There's no you're way. You're not. You can't. <laughs> she doesn't know how to drive a manual. Uh, Eric, I could have bought a 2020 off-road manual, but my S10 and Ranger were manuals, and I drive an 18-wheeler 15 or five days a week, so I stuck with the auto. I understand that. You probably, assuming your truck is a manual that you drive, you probably get a lot of uh, practice. London Bobby, uh, I get my girlfriend, I let my girlfriend drive stick. That's good. All women should know how to drive a stick. Uh, Walter says... Uh, my cousin tried to teach me on his Civic Si, but it seems you really have to drive it more than once to learn. You do. But I will tell you, uh, the Honda Civic is one of the best cars to learn how to drive a manual because it's so forgiving and it's so easy. Um, Daryl Baker, greetings and happy Easter from Newfoundland. 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 That would be a Fellow Canadian. Fellow Canadian here. Happy Easter she's, to you, too. She's Canadian. By the way, if you're just getting on, I have to remind you, for Krista, for the love of God, for Krista, what? click the subscribe button. I really <laughs> would appreciate it. I even brought a guest in, unbeknownst to me. Uh, but Guys. click click the subscribe button while you're here. Krista's here. Oh, She's wow. right there. That's oh, a close-up wow. for you, right? Yeah. Click that subscribe button if you would. It really helps me out. I would appreciate it so much. Uh, Jonathan Ratliff, Lee Iacocca said concerning the K car back in the day, if you can find a better built car, buy it. You should have bought a better built car because that car was horrible. The shift knob or shifter was one of those long stick shifters actually pulled out of the one we had. Amazing. Wow. How, what do you do? You shove it back in and hope it works. Uh, KW Allison, Candy Red Tacoma in Fort Erie, uh, Ontario, Canada is absolutely beautiful. Finally, a nice color. It is. Arts Crafts Girl, Paola. Hi again, I'm late. Let's see, hi again, I am late, I think. Sorry, hey, I'm just glad you're here. Thanks for joining. Uh, Jordan Brown, my girlfriend now drives my 18 VW Golf uh, Type R, six-speed manual. I steal it on the weekends, LOL. Good for you. Yeah, huh? Uh, Jonathan, your thoughts on the Lexus, please. I'm not a Lexus fan, primarily because of that grill. It has that giant gaping mouth of a chrome grill on the front. Usually, mm. I uh, I am not uh, I am not a fan of that. Uh, yayo, yayo HD. Oh my God, that's Jason Bourne. Um, 
Well, I guess. Uh, <laughs> rest and relax says, hi, bro. What's up, buddy? Uh, rest and relax says, uh, hey, bro. Hey, hi, hey, ho. Uh, Mike Makato. Makato? Okay, never mind. LOL. Guess it's more read between the lines. The lines. It could be. I'm, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, Ryanu. What's up, Ryanu? How are you in Hawaii? Hawaii. Ryan, who is in Hawaii. I know. I remember. Uh, Aloha, Rob. Happy Easter Sunday, my friend. Happy Easter Sunday to you as well. Colin. 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 Wow. Can I get a job? Are you hiring? That would be yes, you can get a job, and no, not with me. You're looking at the only employee I have right here. Uh, Jay you, Wayne. You have <coughs> somewhat of an assistant. Who? You? Oh, please. You haven't been on here in the live stream for months. You're fired. Uh, Jay Wen says, make sure you guys test wow. drive at 60 miles an hour before you put uh, your money down. Why? Why? Why do you say that? I've driven mine at uh, 70. Uh, Jay Wen says, V4 truck POS. Um, have you driven one? I think not. Uh, Jonathan Ratliff, Rob, have you tested the new Tacoma with the new GBL sound system with removable speaker? Wondering how good it sounds. I have not. You're lucky just to find a Tacoma with a sound system. I have one in my 2018 Jeep with the subwoofer. It is awesome. Honey. Awesome. Honey, as a good assistant, you would be familiar with the product, and you would know he's talking about the removable speaker that is mounted in the dash of the Tacoma. Oh. Not whatever in the world it is you're talking about. Well, Christian, I've got the whole system. <laughs> Christian uh, Arredondo. Arredondo. What speakers do you have? Stock, whatever Toyota put in them. OS, congrats on the new truck. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Colin, Colin, can I get a job? I've already answered you. Uh, Neymar Jr. says, name a car for edit. Chevy Seville. Uh, Dan Walker, notice the Canadian stuff behind you. Who's the Canadian in the family? I'm up in Southern Ontario. I lived in Southern Ontario for 10 years. She was born in Winnipeg, yep. and I met her in Toronto. Yep. Uh, Cody T, my dad has a 1974 Ford F-350 Super Camper. Awesome. Ooh. Awesome. Walter, nice to see Lil C. It's Lil, been a Lil while. C. Ryan New, Aloha Rob, did Toyota improve the leg space in the back with uh, head space in the rear? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Not You've got more head space, bit. but you're, you still can't put your legs in, so you, you got to like put those out the window. 10 years old or younger and you'll be fine. Yeah, Walter says, I hope she is doing well. Are you doing well? I am doing well. Uh, Chad you. says, again, hey, Krista, what's up? What's up? Michael says, hi, hey, Michael. Voiceover by Mike. Happy Easter, Rob. Uh, been inspired by your channel with the mods on my 2020 TRD off-road. My wife was looking at trading her 19 RAV4 for a Corolla Cross Hybrid. Jury is still out, but it's really cool. Got to keep her happy. Got to keep them happy. That's what you got to do. Yep. Cody T, thumbs up. Uh, Patsy Morales. Ha, cook. Ha, cook, cool. Uh, right. The P&W test says, let's see the black, the back window. Uh, just a minute. I'll show you if I have time. I've already showed it, so you can watch the rebroadcast if you want to see it. If I don't get to it, I guess is my point. Uh, the P&W test says, my guy. Colton Knight says, hello. Soraya Font says, hi. Jonathan Ratliff, Rob, who makes your favorite fast food hamburger? McDonald's. I like the McDonald's burger. Uh, what do you like? Um... Dead air is never good on a live stream. Uh, no. Let's see. A uh, hero. <laughs> well, I like a hero. That's not a hamburger. I don't... Uh, hamburgers, you know what? I like the vegetarian Colton ones. Colton Knights. I know. I'm one of those weirdos. Tree-hugging Prius driver. Colton oh, Knight says, how are you? I'm good, Colton. How are you? Ryan New says, it's great to see Krista in the live stream. I know. It's been a while. Cody says, my dad has a... Yep, we saw that. Uh, Daniela Majika. Mojica. Mojica, happy Easter to you as well. Happy Easter. KH says, which standard size cars would you, car would you recommend I buy? Um, size. A Honda Civic. I like the Honda Civics. Uh, Vance Coley, can you shout me out? I guess I just did. There you go. Uh, the P&W test. Rob, can we see the rear window? I'll get to it. Uh, P&W test says, haven't seen one. Okay. Michelle says, is that your wife? Is that, is that your granny? Is that your wife? Is that your granny? 
I'm going to take that as a dig, and I'm going to remove that comment. That's just rude. Uh, RBTV says, your Tacoma is gone. My green Tacoma is sold. Yeah. Uh, Normal Rabbit, your face reminds me of Hunter S. Thompson. I'll have to look them up. I don't know who they are. Uh, this message is, okay, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, Kenzie Sisti, it's my birthday. Can you shout me out? Happy birthday, and I think I just did. There you go. Uh, Walter, would you ever get a Toyota Supra 2JZ? No, too small, not comfortable. Pixieli, hi, just joined. Welcome, and by the way, if you're just kicking in, click that subscribe button. What do they need to do? Click that subscribe button and hit like. I don't know. What yes. do they need to do? Watch do, videos? Do that. <laughs> click that subscribe button if you would and show me a little bit of love. Oh, my God. Huh? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, Walter, I read. Uh, Ryan knew. Aloha, Rob. The Solar Octane Tacoma is a very good-looking color. It truly explodes with vibrancy. It does. I agree. It but really does. A this color right here, it rivals that as well. Look yeah. how vibrant that red is. Look at the shadowing. Look at the lighting on this thing. If you don't like this color, then I don't know what your problem is, man. I just, I don't understand. Um, let's see. Pixilly says, hi, just joined. Thank you. And Sector says, please say pop. Okay. Mike, I'm commenting back on my last comment. Your Tacoma is gone and realized you're 23 sold. Yes, it did. It sold, uh, I think, yesterday or day before yesterday. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Pixelli says, boy, in a period, uh, dot, uh, Pookie Tattoo says, let me see those aged tattoos, man. All right, there's uh, a couple of them, and there's another right there. Aren't they lovely? Painful, but lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, Farouk Al-Farabi, I am from Bangladesh, I love you. Thank you very much and welcome. That's awesome. Uh, the Tribal Chief says, happy Easter, have a great day. You too, thanks for kicking in. Uh, Knight X Cranks, name a car for edit. Why are people asking me to do this? What does that mean? Does anybody know? Because I don't know what the purpose of any of that is. Bob Kratz, Katz, <clears throat> how did you two meet? We met in a single parent's chat room on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the day. Back in the day. When it was not a popular thing. Right. Bobcats, I read that. Dr. One Photography 2024 Tundra I got is great. Was worried about the twin turbo. Not bad though. Yeah, I had one. They're awesome. Evie540 says, hi. Hello. Night, uh, Night X Cranks. Name a car. I don't know why you keep asking me that. Inspector says, do you play a... Do you, do I play a, inter I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm. Uh, let's see. Evie says, your hair is so pretty. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I keep it short, uh, but I, I try to take care of it. I really do. And if you really like my hair, uh, please go ahead and click the subscribe button for the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. You think they're talking about you? No. Nah. Hey, I got some funky hair. I can't believe it. Uh, let's see, uh, King's Night Cranks, I've read that, uh, your hair, uh, Mark Guzman, Mrs. Motive. Hey! Walter, uh, I like In-N-Out in Wendy's. I've never had In-N-Out. Wendy's is okay. Inspector, he's, I don't know, he's emoji crazy. A creative boy, what's your favorite car? Uh, the, an old car, Chevy Chevelle. Mm. Uh, let's see, uh, something held for review, we'll just delete that, I don't even know what it means. Am new, can you shout me out? Um, I guess I just did. Uh, I did. Uh, Mary Williams, happy Easter to you, Mary, I like meatballs. I do too, happy Easter to you. Pookie Tattoos, uh, bro, why did you get rid of my message? Rude. Uh, if I got rid of your message, that's exactly why, because it was probably rude. Uh, Michelle says she looks like an old lady. Now, Michelle, I got to put you in timeout because you're just being mean, mean-spirited. Uh, we don't tolerate that here. You know, this isn't a live stream for 10-year-olds. I mean, if you're 10-year-old, you shouldn't be here anyway, right? So, you know. Uh, Gabby the Great, can you? I don't know. Clara, is you go an old classic? No, it's an old POS. Um, Gabby the Great, can you shout out my day? Dad, dad with his birthday today 
Happy birthday, Gabby the Great's dad. Uh, Pookie, I was going to sub, but you just, uh, well, you can keep your Cheerios. And I'm going to put you in timeout, too, because apparently you're here for the wrong reasons. Huh? Uh, Antonio H., happy, uh, hello and happy Easter. Thank you, Antonia. Uh, Esmer Gomez, happy Easter to you as well. Ronald Neal, can I marry your wife? Uh, only if you live in Utah, I think. Uh, <laughs> Nikki Gonzalez, that is a nice, nice, nice car. Thank you. Antonia, I love it. Bree, am new, can you shout me out? I just did, again. Uh, Jonathan Ratliff, Rob, I'm listening now in the shower. Jonathan, something makes me a little uncomfortable about that. You know, if you've got me in the shower with you, I'm not feeling it. I'm just, that makes me feel kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm glad. Well, I'm not really glad that you brought me with you. I mean, I, I hope you at least have me sitting on the counter or something. You know, I mean, I'm a little creeped, I gotta say, man. Uh, but I'm, but don't get, don't turn me off though. I'm, I'm happy you're, you're, you're still here. Evie says happy Easter. Uh, let's see. Donathan Chambers says, oh my God, there are birds in there. There could be. Uh, Nikki says, I love it. Donathan says, uh, I don't know what that means. So we're going to remove that. Uh, it must be that time. All of the trolleys are coming out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. <coughs> I don't know. Insector says, happy Easter to you both. Thank you. You too. Gigi Diaz. It's not that deep, but it's not like, I don't know what that means either. Uh, Evie, I was talking about her hair. Uh, okay. Uh, Glitch says, uh, wait a minute, we got a $10, oh my God, I am so far, we are never going to catch up on the comments. Walter, $10 super chat, Jonathan is in the shower. What? <laughs> Walter, that's good. Yeah. We didn't even rehearse that. Nope. Walter, <laughs> thank you for the super chat, bub, I appreciate that. That's my hamburger and fries today, right there from Walter. I've uh, got to go back now. I don't even know. Uh, v Daddy says, I'm subscribed. Please shout me out. V Daddy, if you are indeed subscribed, this is your shout out, and I appreciate that very much. Uh, Ryanu, Aloha Rob, what type of wheels are you planning to install? I don't know. Mm. Vika Ramajit Singh. Hello, brother. How are you? Well, I tried to pronounce your name, so I hope I, I got it right. Uh, v Daddy says, I read that. Glitch says, uh, I'm 10. V Daddy says, and he, he continues, I, I get it. Um, and we're going to put this person in timeout as well. Wait a minute. Ten minutes in timeout for you. Uh, Limbo says, what's going on here? Well, we're having a very serious and deep discussion about the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. So I hope to stick around and contribute to this very, very important discussion that we're having here. Uh, Normal Rabbit says hello from Texas. Hi, neighbor. How are you? Limbo says, oh, Mud Mafia, you, the, let's see. Uh, Walter, how's the weather down there in South Texas? It is sunshiny. Let's turn you. You can see it. Sunshiny now, a little overcast and about 80 degrees at the moment. It is awesome. Um, Mark, are you ever upside down on a car? I certainly have been over the years. How does Mrs. Motive feel about your constantly trading cars? It's just a normal part of life here. <laughs> it is. Um, let's see. Javier Oremos. Much love, guys. Dude, you and your like twins. And yes, it's a compliment. Yeah, we've heard that before. I don't. Maybe it's because we've been together for 82 years. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mr. Singh says hello from India. Hello. Hello and welcome. I hope I'm not butchering your name. I hope I'm getting it right. Giggs Chad says, hi, Sage says, she is a beautiful. Uh, Cal Tuhine, those goofy tats uh, look like they were done by a 10-year-old. Um, we all have an opinion as well as something else, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, KR says, both of you, if you had any car, which would you like? I'd take another Porsche Cayman. Mm. Yes. My Jeep. I guess just a Jeep. 
I love my Jeep. Uh, Normal Rabbit says, in the shower. I know, right? I'm in the shower with John. I can't even believe I'm saying that out loud. I'm not really. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is a live stream. You can see me sitting here. I mean, come on. <sighs> Ned Efrink, uh, I love the Tacoma, but I have a hard time accepting the higher price with things like power seat, sliding rear window, dampened tailgate, mm. and rear view indicators being gone. You're not alone. Yep. Cal says... <clears throat> don't inhale. I don't want to get uh, sucked into your giant nostrils. Look at that. A, a personal physique zing. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, Taylor Graham says, can you give me... Uh, sorry, Taylor. We must have a whole group of like third graders in here now. Uh, Walter, again, thank you for the $10. I really do appreciate that, buddy. Joe says, Rob, don't you think the back seat room is compromised because the bottom seat cushion is deeper in the front than in the rears? Could be. I've not even looked that close. Mm -hmm. um, Cal thinks I have noodle arms. Well, you know, I, I'll take that as a compliment. I have lost some weight. Uh, Evie says, I subscribe. Thank you, by the way. And if you're new in here, please click that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind it helps me out i really appreciate it um eva cortez uh is shouting out somebody's name i don't know jonathan ratliff thank god he's out of the shower i hope <laughs> uh is laughing like a madman uh -huh. he's just going crazy hysterical um although it, it bothers me a little i'm not even going to go into that apex allen says uh I don't know what that means. We get, we get, we're just gonna. There's quite a few. We're gonna put that that guy in timeout for the rest of the live stream. How's that? Um, wow. Let's Maybe. see. Uh, let's get down to some valid comments. Uh, Lee B says hi. I know this is a weird question, but can you? Um, no. Uh, this message. Let's see. That one's gone. Uh, what happened to the Tacoma? Uh, it finally sold. My electric lime green Tacoma that I traded in at Toyota of Far uh, was bought, and the person who bought it contacted me. Isn't that awesome? Uh, let's see. I'll get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Yeah, I would skip all of those. Um, let's see. Mike says, it has escalated way away from talking about the Tacoma. Uh, well, I like to I like to branch out into other things too. You know, we're not limited. Uh, Farouk Al Faravi, uh, I, yeah. As, I can never pronounce this. Askalalikum. I am from Bangladesh. Hello and thank you. I appreciate that. I'm here for the Tacoma. Awesome. Do you have a Tacoma? Uh, let's uh, let's do this. And we have, let's see, um, we're going to do this. It's really kind of fun, you know, mm -hmm. when you get to doing that. Uh, let's move on. Uh, weeding out the garbage, as I like to say. 304 on top says hi. Uh, Jao says Apex Allen, uh, let's see, and your life. I don't even know what that means. 304 on top says hi. Jao says and Walter Lemu says you're in the shower with Jonathan. It was just a joke. It really was just a joke. Um, Grandma's folly. I like people from Texas. Most of them are not easily bothered. Mark Guzman. Ever think of letting Mrs. Motive choose a car? Maybe letting her pick the upgrades. She did. Her Jeep sitting out there is her choice, yep. not mine. Yep. Uh, I built it. So. Yes, and so are her upgrades. You know what I'm saying? Walter, sorry, it's just that first time I've heard that. <laughs> Walter, uh, children are crazy. Yeah, the little yeah. kitties, you know. Walter, Jonathan, don't drop your phone in there. Oh, oh. my God, I should have never said a word. <laughs> um, Jonathan, Rob, can we support your work through PayPal? Um, well, sure, I have a PayPal. It's robmotive at gmail.com, robmotive at gmail.com. Um, I would appreciate it if you if you want. You don't have to. Al says, hi, Rob's mom. Watching you and Baltimore Orioles game. Can I multitask or what? Rob's mom? Does that look like my mom? What did she have me when she was three? Pre-born? <laughs> um, let's see. 304 says, I sub. Thank you. Groggy says, did you sell that blue taco a long time ago? Albanian Gaming. Hello there. Hello. 
Jonathan, Rob, I love you, bro. You're a hoot, Jonathan. Thanks for the material. It was yeah. it was quite funny for me. That's good. Uh, this, this, the brakes wash hair. Are you a beautician or a barber? Uh, maybe Arctic says, hello, I'm here. Do you remember me? I do. Ryan, who says, Rob, I can't wait to see your new mods on your new Tacoma, especially the sport bar. Yeah, it's going to be coming. Mm -hmm. What music do you like? Rock. 80s music. Uh, Levi White, random question, but what are the tattoos on your arm? Well, we have my uh, Gemini uh, uh, sign. We have a couple of dragons, and we have a bigger dragon uh, with a busted off sword captured in battle. Of course. Um, let's see. Sebas says, hello, men. Good morning. There's some women in here, too. Jonathan says, Walter, you are hilarious, bud. <laughs> Chow says, hello there from Delaware. Delaware, Ohio, or Delaware State? Mm. Uh, David Swank, hello from 39 Degree, Iowa. Ooh. How do you manage? Uh, Grandma's Folly, I have a Tundra and a Lexus LX, but I love the taco. You need to get one. That's awesome. You need to get one. Don Ace, hello, hello. How are you, beautiful? How are you, beautiful marriage? Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Normal Rabbit says, yee-haw. Uh, Kaiman, something I can't even pronounce, says, ha-ha, visa expert, Beyond. Um, I am from California. Well, awesome to have you here. Foiso uh, Lamad, hi, do the gritty. I don't, that's a dance. I, I don't dance. <laughs> he does. Uh, what's your favorite car? Uh, I've gone over that, but I'll tell you one more time. It's the Chevy Chevelle. Uno says, here's Uno. Finally, Uno has made an appearance. Uno says, hello, Krista, Mrs. Rob. Now, I know you're going to take Rob's new ride, Mudden, and post the video on YouTube. You know it. Yeah, you no <laughs> way. Uh, Joel Hoffarth. Uh, looks like, uh, look, look, it's the old man and lady in town. Julian Flores, I sub. Thank you, Julian. I appreciate that. RBS Random Bass Shorts. Rob, you always give out so positive vibes dude life is too short to not yep uh julian is still subbed i thank you imb hi what is your favorite color blue julian i read that al says oh god am i embarrassed it'll be okay it'll be all right uh normal rabbit just don't read the mean comments yeah i i sometimes i can't help myself and then i block them put them in timeout you know yep. do you know the song everybody wants to rule the world and happy easter yes, yes. i do and happy Easter. Never a big fan of, the, of that band, though. Uh, I like them. Let's see. Cole Sutton says, Bourdain. Uh, Julian, I read. Uh, Jay Ao says, Delaware, the state. Uh, tech for fun. Trying to decide if I want a sports bar. Is it just aesthetic, or could you ratchet uh, to it? You could ratchet to it, but not too much. Mm. <clears throat> and it is really aesthetic. It provides no support in the event of a roll. That's why they call it a roll bar and not a—I mean—a sport bar instead of a roll bar. Yeah. Jonathan, Rob, I see a few automotive YouTubers are demoning, demo, demoing the hybrid Tacoma next month. Tells me it's going to be out pretty soon. Hopefully, mm. I've heard late summer, even early fall. But maybe they're getting ahead of the game. Finally. Yeah. Ah, uh, Jihad. Hi, Jihad from Syria. I came here by accident. Nice to meet you, by the way. What are you talking about? And happy Easter. Toyota Tacoma, or whatever you guys want to at this point, really. Uh, Nathaniel Ishi. Aloha from Hawaii. Aloha. Uh, Grandma's Folly. Hi, Jihad. Happy Easter. Uno. Tears for Fears. Yep. That's not the band I was thinking of, so I, I do like that band. Uh, Tears for Fears, I love them, but then again, I love the 80s. Wish I could go back. So yeah, do I. me too. I'd love to go back to the 80s. So do I. Anyway, we have reached the end of the comments, which means we have reached the end of the live stream. So I am going to sign off. Uh, real quick, before you exit the building, make sure you click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Give a uh, thumbs up on the way out. And uh, don't forget to turn the notification bells on so that you don't miss these super stimulating, if not erotic, no, super <laughs> stimulating uh, live streams where sometimes Krista even joins. Thank you guys for being on. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we shall see you all next, next time. time. <laughs> Bye.